Hello viewers. First things first, I'd like to apologize. Unfortunately, a load of footage did corrupt for this video, so I'm going to have to explain quite a bit of it as we go along. Me and Ross decided that we wanted to make a gold farm because in 1.16 Minecraft that's coming out some point during this year, uh, these piglings are going to basically replace zombie pigmen. But zombie pigmen are a really good way of getting gold. So Ross had this incredible idea. He, uh, there's a, a couple of videos on YouTube where uh, you can actually uh, start a portal in a, like a quad portal setting. And uh, there's a couple of them where you can have it as a single uh, a single one. Ross had a, re a few unique ideas of how to improve uh, the second one with a single portal. And I had watched some videos about the quad one. In the end, we kind of combined the two and made a brand new type that I can't find anywhere else on YouTube as as a uh, huge nether portal that makes zombie pigmen. The first one we did was the original idea, and the original idea kind of failed, and that's where most of the footage, unfortunately, did corrupt. We had a minecart system. It was my job to basically sort out the sorting system and Ross's to sort out the uh, zombie spawning system. Unfortunately, most of that f has corrupted. I will keep as much of it in the video as I possibly can, um, but it is pretty much going to start off as if it's midway through one of my usual videos, so I do have to apologize, okay? The footage you're seeing on there now is actually the completed design. But anyway, let's get started by going into where we left off. <laughs> Okay, alright guys, just to diagnose the issues we're having currently, okay? Number one, the farm, even in its current ruined state, is too efficient. Look at this. Look at it. This can be partially solved by putting a block, three blocks of ice here, which will make these guys slip down here faster. Um, into the trident killer. Is there any way we can make this trident killer faster? Mm, not really. They're just slow. Unless we dug the Trident Killer down further, so they took full damage first. I think that we'll probably have to do that. It'd be better if it was a bit slower. Uh, what level are you now? 74. 74. And um, what level were you when you started at the thing? 27. 27, okay. Okay, so that's uh, 10 minutes, and you are how many levels? 50 levels, basically. We'll call it 50. Here yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. And that, um, it's a lot less efficient than it was now that half of it's burnt down. Yes, I mean, it could be even more efficient than this. Um, I don't think it necessarily needs to be, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> this is ludicrous. <laughs> I've just get, we're about to set up our own bookshop. We don't need to. You can just come here for 10 minutes, get that many enchantments, and then just enchant a load of books with random enchants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am now level zero. I have no levels whatsoever. Let's stand here. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> uh, ten. <laughs> uh, can I stand just down here a little bit? Will that make a bit of a difference? Yeah, that's a bit quicker down here. Just a little bit. Eleven. <laughs> uh, well, you can see how much quick you're getting XP anyway. Twelve. <laughs> uh, Thirteen. So yeah, no, it definitely, it's a, definitely a good farm. Um, this is with maybe a 50% efficiency farm with half of it on fire. Yeah, this is at half. This is at half pace. We need to stop the machine. You know that, right? I can stop it. Let's stop it. We need to stop it because we need to. We, a, we need to fix it, and B, I don't think this can be going all night. I think that would be a, a bad. Thing. Oh no, we can't leave any. We can't leave this on overnight ever. <laughs> Even if we have to replace the wood every single time we start the game, we'll do that. <laughs> I don't think we need to, because it was working fine earlier, so something has changed. Oh, big issue, big issue, big issue, big issue, big issue. Um, okay, so one number one, one a zombie, a mini zombie, somehow got in here and unfortunately has turned this zombie, this villager into a zombie villager. Not too much of an issue. However, he is now in this villager place and I can't put the glass back on top of here it's all not going very well so ooh, don't fall in so I'm thinking bow and arrow for him oh, I don't think I've got a bow and arrow is the only problem where is it oh, I must have a bow and arrow up here somewhere come on okay do I have my elytra on I do not have I do have my elytra on okay it's gonna get a bow and arrow 
Oh, I think I left it by the god damn. <coughs> Pardon me. I left it by the god damn gold farm. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We, we, we've got more. We've got more to spare. More to spare. More to spare. Oh, it's nearly daytime. That's not good. Because when they wake up, the zombie's going to kill the guy. Okay. We can make it. We can make Oh, that's also not ideal. Oh, my goodness grief. Hi, guys. Hi. Right. Okay. In we go. Uh, through we go. Yes. Ha 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 ha. You can't follow me through here. You can't follow me through here. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We've got a serious zombie problem. <laughs> serious zombie problem. Right. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Silk touch. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Okay. Right then. Um, you, my good sir, are in the nice. Oh. Uh, okay. That block needs to be that 150%. Okay. There we go. I need to throw that at you. And feed you a golden apple. And. And. Come on. You want to buy the paper? Yes. I know how much you love paper. Yes. Paper. Good price. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I know how much you love emeralds. Yes? Emerald? No? I put it on, 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 as an offer on the table for you. Emerald. There it is. There we go. And now he's happy. Ah, and he offers no discount. That's coming in the next update. <laughs> I uh, went AFK for two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Dear God. Why? The spider is jumping on me, but somehow not hitting me. What is going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, Ross, do you want to sleep as well? Guys, um, we have got a... A solution for you. Um, you may not have been aware that there was a problem, but we... When I say we, I mean Ross has been troubleshooting his... His part of the problem. Um, and I have... Uh, and I've been troubling much shooting my part of the problem. And now, Ross is going to take you through exactly... How this works, which I fully understand entirely. Um, well, yeah, you gave me the idea, and you've just broken the lever. Oh, that was what the lever was. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I will improve its neatness, guys. I, I swear. <laughs> I know it looks horrendous, but this, in theory, is the finished article, and in theory, it is going to work. I've tested my end. Ross has tested his end. Would you like to explain, the old and uh, how how your end of the bargain works, anyway? Yeah. Um, which bit? Are you leaving the no. previous nope. part in? Nope. Good. Okay. So, how this works. This is a mixture of my idea, um, a guy called Navy Nexus's idea, and uh, various other things. So, <laughs> very top right hand corner is Navy Nexus's little uh, portal lighting system using lava, some observers, a little redstone piston clock. Um, this horrendous netherrack stack of redstone torches was his idea also, but I can't get it to work. Um, his video was ever so slightly different. His was a quad uh, system. A, square, a quad portal system in a square. Uh, and then this netherrack sort of, or this 
torch stack went up the middle and you turned it on and off that way and there was a, a load more timers and stuff involved than this system. Um, so what I've done is turned this system off entirely, so we will rip it down at some point, and just put a very rudimentary water dispensing system on the side here with an observer and a dispenser with a water bucket in it. And it now works. So the idea behind this is that this redstone clock lights the portal. This dispenser here turns off the portal. Every single time the portal turns on, there is a chance of X, whatever that may be. Um, I think it's somewhere close to 50% chance of a zombie pigman spawning. Um, and uh, and per, I think it's actually a chance per cube of obsidian used. So you can actually have multiple pig as we found out multiple pigmen spawning at exactly the same time uh what i have done in this setup is sort out the sorting system so the video you saw last time or maybe earlier in the episode depending on how i do this it was uh insane i need to turn that off for a second uh, <laughs> it was an insane minecart system which looked insanely unreliable it was completely unreliable um, but what this is, is effectively a trident killer going into um, a double dropper, going into a series of hoppers that goes into a miniature version of my own sorting system. So we only want the gold bars and gold nuggets. Everything else, rotten flesh, etc., gets chucked away into this dropper, which then burns everything alive. There is then a dropper here that goes into a bubble column elevator, which takes it up to the top to our sorting system. And voila. Simple as that. It looks really complicated in the way I've done it, but it is probably the most compact it can possibly be um, and using the least resources. But more importantly, it doesn't use a single minecart. Uh, well, it does use a minecart. It doesn't use a single rail cart minecart system. It only uses a hopper minecart. Anyway, let's go back to the top. And Ross, if you want to turn this on, um, you do the honours. Uh, we should make it daytime first. Uh, the, the biggest, most beautiful thing is you can't hear any of the redstone clocks when you're above ground. It's it's a thing of beauty. Okay, here we go. So in theory, now, if we look over... If I do a little bit of the old... Oh, I was going to fly, but I have no... There we go. So if you look in here... Look at that! <laughs> look at that working! That's incredible! Uh, they also fall through a double lava system. Um, as well, just to give him a little bit more damage so the trident killer doesn't take quite as long to kill him. Look how well this is working. Can you believe it? All that hard work. I think Ross is uh, stunned with silence. I was muted. I was um, <laughs> crying. This has been two full days of hard work. This is two full days of hard work, but look at it work though. Let's go down the bottom and collect some XP. Let's see what In happens. Fact, you go down and collect the XP, because you need it for the video. Uh, there you go. Okay, so, well, there you go. This gives you a sort of general idea of uh, how good this is. <laughs> you just stand here and you just get a load of XP. Oh, dear. It's brilliant. So, yeah, you'd stand here for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And you'd probably be level 30, I think. But more importantly, as we look at this here, you can see these nuggets are falling. There's a lot of ticking going on. And Rotten Flash should be coming through here. In theory. I don't see any, which is making me worried a little bit. Rotten Flash is coming through somewhere. It is. No, it is going in there. It is going in there. So that's all working completely. Trident Killer is doing its job. I'm guessing we can make that more efficient by putting more than one Trident in there. Uh, I think I put three in there. It's definitely taking less time to kill them as well through the lava, which is good. And you may be asking, Dave, Ross, why? Why do you need all this gold? Well, when 116, when 116 comes out, the piglings uh, actually trade in gold, which should replace these guys, I think, is what the idea is. So the zombie pigmen are going, and uh, the piglings will replace that. But in order for us to do trades, um, we need gold. And so we thought we'd set this up beforehand. And there you go, there it is. It is actually a hell of a lot simpler than it looks. To be fair. Apart from that redstone lava thing up there, I have no idea about that. No, I have no idea what that's doing either. <laughs> it's doing something. Well, I kind of know what's going on, but I don't know why it does it like that. 
Look at how many pick. I know. I, by the way, this is this is actually a little bit less efficient than the one we made yesterday because the portal is a little bit smaller, and I think the tick is a little bit slower as well. But it's so much more reliable, and more importantly, the sorting system is working better as well. It's less well, intrusive. Even more importantly, we can turn it on and off. Yeah, that's the bit that I think is the most important bit: is that we can actually turn it off whenever we want. It won't just be going forever. Okie dokie. So, uh, we haven't tidied up yet. That is going to be my next job. Um, I probably will do that in another time lapse because I'm sure you guys are not sick of time lapses yet. But, right, I've started a clock uh, 30 seconds ago. We're going to time this for half an hour. We're going to see how much gold um, we can get in half an hour. Time's up by two, and that gives us hourly rates of gold. Um, I also have a present for you. Okay, well, um, in, in my usual fashion, I've left you a single slice. Well, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're so generous. I know. Okay, so um, we're going to go away. Um, we're going to leave this run for half an hour, and we're going to come back, and we're going to see exactly how much gold we're going to get. We'll count it in gold uh, bars and blocks, I guess, is the best way of doing it. Already, we've got two gold ingots ready to go. So uh, I'll join you in half an hour. Okay, so normally at this stage I would have come back and said, yeah, guess what? It's 15 blocks of gold per every uh, half hour. And that's what would have, have been. Until I realized, of course, if you hold out a Looting 3 sword, then it actually applies the enchantment to the Trident Killer. So, great news for you guys, or for us anyway. It gets you about 30 blocks of gold every single half hour which equates to about 60 blocks of gold an hour it is absolutely brilliant i actually had got to the point where i was level 200 i did die um after a couple of days of doing this i'm now actually currently building my creeper farm uh, my uh, gunpowder farm because i am using fireworks far too liberally anyway guys uh, I do apologize about the state of the video. I did save as much of it as I possibly could, but there was so much corruption. Um, hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad. I do apologize. Hopefully things in the next video will return completely to normal. Muchas lavos, and have a good day. And stay safe. Okay, so it was 15 gold blocks every half hour, basically, which gives you 30 per hour, uh, as mentioned beforehand, which we reckon is about 20% maybe 15% less effective than it was yesterday. It's more reliable though. Um, we can turn it on and off, which is the critical thing. The system is way better for sorting, although that could have been done with the previous design. But more importantly, there's no wood to burn and go wrong. Um, and yeah, I think overall it's a massive, massive improvement. Um, I've decided to tap this onto the end of the other video, guys. So uh, make sure that uh, you leave this video a humongous like because this took us two days to figure out how to do. I sort of worked on my side of things. Ross worked on his side of things. If it wasn't for Ross, there's no way that uh, we would have been able to get this done. Um, so yeah, he's a, he's a legend. I'm sure you'll see more of him in the future. We've got some ideas to make a creeper farm because our gunpowder habits are getting out of control a little bit. Um, <laughs> And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you look after yourself. Stay inside, stay safe, all the usual sort of uh, gubbins and gibbons. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.